G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West, where I have finally figured out how to sit on the chair that I made on my balcony to look out over the vast expanses of the world and enjoy the fruits of my labour of having this wonderful house here all for me. If I have to quickly get out of the chair again, there we go, oh yep, it's a little bit glitchy, but that's okay. Right, I am back in Outlaws because... Uh, in the last episode, I went out and I found my brand new black Mustang. Here he is over there. He's tied up to the fence. I mean, he, he kind of is. It's a little bit on its tits right now, but that's okay. He's over here. And he's with his donkey friend. He's having a lovely time, but he's out in the elements. He's not having that good of a time. He's going to get rained on when the storm comes through. He's going to get baked in the sun. I can't let my wonderful Mustang horse have that kind of shit happen to him. So I need to protect him, which means I need to make some sort of stable. I need to find a way to protect him from the elements. So I went out in between filming, and I went and got myself a whole bunch of wood. Look, I've got like 500 like actual wood logs i've also got like a hundred planks and that's quite a lot of wood inside like 500 wood makes a hundred planks so they're pretty damn expensive but whatever i have them now and i also have if i can find it this thing the claw hammer i have two kinds of hammers i also have this one as well i have all the kinds of hammers so i can either make it out of like wood logs like this i can make it out of planks i can make it out of whatever i like i just have to think what my two uh four-legged friends over here might enjoy so i think i'm gonna build the stable out of planks i mean i know i've built my actual house out of logs but that's okay that's gonna get renovated and upgraded later on i've got all this area out here to build out to as well so just out here somewhere i'm going to build the stables so how big does it need to actually be? We're just gonna see how big it was compared to a foundation. It looks like maybe it needs to be too deep, judged by how big the horsey is. Right, so I can, I can do that. Uh, foundations, uh, single, uh, that one, plank foundations. 10 planks, oh my God. That's gonna be expensive. Oh, right, all right. Well, I'm gonna put all the rest of my wood into the plank making machine over here, because apparently I'm never gonna be able to make enough planks to get this done. Craft all, another 91 planks going in. Oh boy, I uh, probably should have thought this through before I wanted to build another plank because this is going to cost all of my uh, materials I ever have ever had. I'm going to need a whole bunch more iron if I'm going to get this thing done. So where is my horse? There's my horse. Grab the horse. Let's go into the wilderness and find ourselves some stone. I've got some better tools now. I've got like a big proper axe and a big proper pickaxe. So I should actually be able to mine some things pretty quickly if my horse didn't get stuck on a slight lip. All right, Wait, ah, come on, get out of the ground, horsey. Mustang, please, go in the right direction. Is that another horse? Is that like, is that a gray horse or a white horse? Or is it like, ah, oh, it's kind of patchy. Oh, uh, I thought you were all white and I was very, very excited to have you. I could have a secondary horse. In fact, you know what? It's probably not an awful idea, all things considered. Let's grab my lasso out. Let's do this from horseback like a true cowboy. Huh? Ah, go. Nah, missed it. Gotta get it around the neck. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on. Get your cowboy boots on like a big boy. Easy. Yeah. No, nailed it. One. Wait. Uh, click left mouse. There we go. I tried clearly click it. Didn't do anything the first time. It's okay. I'm having slightly less of a seizure now than I did when I did this on foot. Uh, oh, I missed it. Uh-oh. Do I, do I lose now? Uh, there we go. Okay. Whew. Thank God. All right. I now have another horse. I can. Ha I have a donkey and two horses. There's a big storm coming in from the west. It's all right. They were still on the other side of the mountains right now. But like just this visual of just a cowboy riding through the hills with a storm on the horizon on the back of his trusty steed makes me happy. It makes me happy to be a cowboy. I've always wanted to be a cowboy. And this game has given me the ability to do that. And that makes me fall in love with it just a little bit more every time I come back to play. Oh, well that and the fact that I can come down here and look at my little house on the cliff down here. This whole, I'm going to turn this whole peninsula into like one big kind of compound thing. I put a big wall along the front here, some walls up the side, and have this as like a fort. Be Fort Jawoodle, uh, with, you know, everything an old west little, uh, like, uh, establishment, little compound would need. A stables, a jail, a pub, a brothel, whatever I can build, I will build on here. Which is why the decision, uh, where is my other horse and my donkey gone? They made it went to spawn in. They're down here somewhere, so I'll just leave 
uh, old mate Black Mustang here. Still haven't, I haven't put the episode out yet when I got the horses, so I don't actually have the names for them yet. So at the moment, I'm just calling the Mustang. I, I, that's a, a testament to how much I love this game. I can't stop recording and making episodes for it. I can't stop playing because I'm just so excited to get back into it all the time. But what I was saying is the decision of what I'm going to build my stables out of is important because that's what I'm going to build the rest of the compound out of. Then I'm, I'm choosing the, the, the design aesthetic for the rest of my um, uh, of my stay here, really. Okay, so I've built a bunch of coal. Let's put that there. Let's make all of you that I can. Let's make all of you that I can because I've got a bunch of stone out of that too. Ignite. Get that off and going. We're looking pretty A-OK. -okay. While I'm waiting for my coal to cook, I should probably start thinking about a beehive because I took all the torches down from the walls, as you can see, because it was just causing my game to lag way too hard whenever I got close to my house. It just doesn't handle the fire very well. So I need to make myself a beehive. What do you need? Plant fiber and stone. Well, I just put all my stone in the furnace, so that might not work out for me. Uh, I've got some left over here. Plenty left over in there. Uh, plant fiber is that one as well. There we go. Craft myself a beehive. Make one of those. And put that out here somewhere. Not sure where. Maybe just like down... Actually, you know what? I have the perfect spot for a beehive. I need to be out of the way where I'm not going to like accidentally stumble into it. Get stung by a, a, a whole swarm of bees. I'll put it just around here. I can move it later on when I eventually do like the renovations that I'm planning on doing. But for the moment, it should be reasonably uh, okay for a spot for the beehive. Get you and put you like there. There you go. Do you need anything? Do I need to give you anything? No, you've already got your bees. I mean, there's not many flowers around. You can fly a little bit. There's flowers over there. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Bees are good. Bees are great. I'm excited to eat all of your honey. Okay, I've got a bunch of planks. Got a bunch of iron. I should have enough now to start uh, actually making my stable. So I'm going to need some foundations. Plank foundations. Some Somewhere. There we go. Okay. I mean... I guess, like, you wouldn't really want to keep your horse on wood, though, would you? Can I build... Can I just, like, stri Oh, uh, that's a bit weird. Why are you... Why is my horse all the way over here? Why is it not over there? That's a little weird. If I Wait, if I press, like, E here, do I get on my horse? What the shit? Okay, this is why it's in early access. There are some difficulties around, but that's okay. We, we, we can deal with that. But yeah, can I just build a wall without the foundation? Just like, uh, let's go like uh, half. Whoa, there's a tornado that started right next to me. That's a bit scary. No, I, I, so I have to have the foundations. That's a little annoying. I don't want to keep my horse on wood. My horse wants to live in the, in the dirt where it can take shit so no one's going to judge it for it. You know, whatever. This is just going to have to do. So we'll put a foundation there, a foundation there. Just going to have to go along the whole way. Um... Hmm, how many do I need? Let's go, let's go three. I mean, it's a little bit up off the ground, but that's okay. Go along like this. There we go. That should be big enough for, a, oh my God. Really? Why did that happen? Why did it randomly turn halfway through? Oh, all right. Well, I guess it's time to test out my sledgehammer because apparently you get materials back when you break shit with your sledgehammer. Do I have to like, have to, like take a swing at it like this? Yep, there we go. Okay, thank God. I'm going to take all my shit back and not waste things by building things on the wrong angle. Oh, that would have been heartbreaking. I destroyed all my foundations because I want to make sure that it actually makes sense. Like, if the foundations are too high, then it's not going to look like a horse could actually comfortably get up there. But if it's too low, then the ground pokes through. So I had it too high before. I've destroyed everything. I'm going back to the start to try and make it the right height going forward. So that's about the highest points. Uh, let's kind of try and get an idea of how high that actually is. That's about there. So I need it to be about, oh, about there. That looks about the right height. So I'll come around this side. That should hopefully be, yeah, that's, that's pretty spot on, actually. That's pretty fucking spot on. Guestimation works. Oh, thank God. Make sure all of the, no, don't turn on me like that. I need to pay attention to the uh, the lines of the bars before I actually put it down. Like, they're each pl uh, plank of wood. Make sure it's all pointed the right way, or else it would look ridiculous. So there we go. That should be big enough for a decent sized table. It's not too big in the scheme of the peninsula. It's not too big uh, compared to like the, the horses and stuff. It's all looking nice and lovely. Can I build even, can I build like a ramp? Is there just like, ooh, that's a nice looking window. No, that's not what I'm here to do. Is there any, uh, I can build like stairs. Are the stairs look ridiculous though? Maybe, maybe I should build like, uh, oh, well, the, like I could build like the log stairs. It look just as ridiculous though. 
Man, I just want like a slope piece of wood. Just I don't want to have to build something like you know fancy fancy stairs. I just want a piece of wood to go down here to make it easy for the horses to get up. I've gone inside to grab myself one of my trusty torches because it's about to get dark out here and I want to be able to see whatever is happening. I mean, I know that I was gonna make the game die a little bit, but that'll be okay. I'll get rid of it in the morning. Uh, I need to figure out what kind of wall I want. I mean, I kind of want to go to something like this, or that doesn't really look like a stable, does it? I don't know. I mean, I know that, like, the interior walls, like these ones here, need to be... Ha no, damn it. Uh, get, uh, this one. Half walls, that one. So I go like that, and then like that. So there's actually enough room here for three different horses. You go like this all the way along. And you can have, like, you know, the little... Uh, what, what should I call it? The, the horse ties? What, what are they? The thing you attach your horse to to stop it running away. This thing. Horse posts. You can have horse posts at the end of each of these. And then I get some more materials out of my, um out of my chest in there to make it work. But at the very end, maybe may, like, maybe, maybe the horse is one of you. Maybe I should go like something like this. Maybe, I, actually maybe I should just go another half wall and then some pillars. I don't, wait, how do, how do the pillars actually go? Pillar, do you go in the centers or on the, <gasps> do you go on the corners? That might actually work out really well. So if I go, and just like run around this side, the, that torch is completely redundant. This is making the game die. Get rid of you, uh, destroy. I don't care about getting all the, the uh, things back from it. Never gonna use it again. Destroy that shit. It was a very short lived torch. But if I go like there and like there, so I can still actually support the roof, will that look how it's supposed to? I don't know. I'm gonna put pillars all the way around. And if it looks like shit, well then I guess I'm gonna have to get some more materials and build it all again. This is the kind of shit I've been waiting to do in this game. Just like, I mean, look, I love the game itself. I love the grind of being a cowboy and going out and adventuring. I still haven't even made my way down into Monument Valley down there and gone and explored what is, I'm sure, a whole bunch of cool shit down there. I mean, it's right on my doorstep, but I haven't headed down there yet. Do I, do I have any... Ooh, I've got beeswax and honey. I'll take that. Can I just like straight up eat the honey? Because honey is delicious. A delicious treat. See, even the game agrees with me. Honey is delicious. Can I just like, can I eat that shit? No, it's a crafting material. All right, cool. Ooh. Oh, there's maybe some more for me. Thank you, bees. It's the middle of the night and they're still pumping out honey and wax for me. But yeah, like building in this game is what I was most excited for. I want to make myself like another tombstone. I want to make myself a town from the old west. And I'm starting to do that and I'm so goddamn excited for it. All right, how does that look? Is that going to be enough protection? Like, should I have on the outside like actual walls? I don't... I don't really know. I'm trying to, I mean, clearly I'm not one who's been around stables a whole lot there. I've only just like Google some photos of old, old West stable and see what it looks like. So I can uh, see if it needs like out, uh, outside walls. I mean, I need to be able to protect the horses from storms and stuff. Seeing as one all the way out there and like dust and wind and all that kind of stuff. So maybe it does need to have like some out, uh, exterior walls. Maybe I'm built it a bit small even. Like if I get my horse, uh, where's Black Betty? I might, I might even just call it Black Betty. I don't know. I still want to know. I, I will still use whatever the, the popular vote is for the name of the horse. But like, at the moment, I'm going to call it kind of Black Betty. Maybe I'll just keep it like Black Mustang. So it comes in here. This is its home. It stays there. There we go. I can tie it up to the rope. But there's not really a whole lot of room in here. Maybe I've made... Uh, I, can't, I can't even get out. Maybe I've made my stable just a little bit too small. Oh, I don't know. This is hard. So I googled for images and all I got was barns. Like a big barn. Like, like out of Red Dead Redemption. When you know when the barn's burning down, you go in and save all the horses. I've got pictures like that, but I don't want to build a whole freaking barn. That's not what I'm here to do. So I'm just going to kind of go like halfway. I'm going to get rid of most of these around the outside of here. Around the outside. Around the outside. I almost jumped off a cliff. I did see someone say that I wanted to start a betting pool about how long it's going to take me to eventually fall off my, uh, my little peninsula. Fall down the cliff and break my legs. And I mean... That's a pretty sure bet. I'd love to go into the pool on it because I don't reckon it's going to take that long. In fact, you know what would have been cool? You know what would have been cool if I had to use a, a ramp instead of just destroying everything? Like going, say, uh, getting one of these ones and putting that up the top like that. That might have been even cooler. In fact, it's probably soon be cool if I do it on that side. But first and foremost, I need to build the walls around here. Do I want windows? Should I give the horse a window or should I just like put up like a proper wall? I don't know. God, I just have to make a decision and stick with it. I'm going to go with uh, some actual windows here, just so the horses can look at it. I mean, I want these horses to have a good quality of life that they're giving me. They're doing me a, a solid, so I'm going to do them a solid and make sure they can look out and get some fresh air and enjoy themselves. I will put some windows up as well to make it look a little bit more homely. Um, and maybe, you know what, I think... Let's just have a look at it. Let's put one of these things down and see how it actually looks. There, like that. Boom. Just there. Uh, don't need to put one in the middle and one over this side as well. Can I just... Can I get you to go the right way, please? 
Oh, there's so many things it's locking onto. Go where I want you to go, not where you think I want you to go. Nah, you know what? That looks shit. Let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of one on the other side as well. So someone put it in and it just looks awful anyway. That's the you got to experiment sometimes. You just kind of figure things out as you go along. Uh, can I even make... Are there ladders in this? La ladder? No? No ladders? That's a surprise. Because I'd love to make... I mean, like a storage area. If you have a, uh, 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 a stable or some sort of barn or something, I'd, I'd love to have a second story where I can store all, like, the feed and stuff for the horses. But I can't, apparently I can't. I don't want to build this whole set of stairs up there. It says it's just too big. Oh, all right. Well, speaking of stairs, let's go stairs and those stairs and go up like that. So the horses have an easy way to get in and out like that. There we go. I'm wasting... This is, this is a whole lot of resources. The horses have a nicer house than I have. I mean, you got to, in the Old West, when you're a cowboy, you got to look after your horse. It's your best friend and your livelihood. So you've got to make sure it's as happy as it can possibly be. But at the same time, I mean... Maybe I should just put them in my house and live in the stable. You know, it may be easier if I can build this without my horse actually in it. So can I, like, spin you? Oh, yeah, look at that turning circle. Perfect. Okay, you come over here. Just kind of stay there for me, if you please. Uh, no, damn it, that was the wrong button. Sometimes the game kind of glitches out and you can't actually interact with anything to open and close your inventory. So this is one of those things. One of those things you get used to uh, when the game's in early access. A little bug, but that's okay. Right, so now... That that's up and going rather nicely. I need to put the roof on it. What kind of roof should this place have? I am not sure. Um, I could just go like the old, kind of, kind of like the front, like looking over the planes of my house and just get like the, the half slope ceiling. Just get two of those all the way along. Like, uh, like not like that, like that. And just kind of go down the center. That might actually be the best option. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This is hard. It's hard to make a stable. You know, I think that looks about as good as it's going to get. Uh, I'll build that one all the way along the top. And then I'll put some like... Oh, did I just run out of things? Uh, what have I, I'm out of planks. I'm out of iron bars. How am I out of those? I had like 150 of each. But no planks. I've got no iron bars. I've got more on the make though. I just need to go get them. It's just frustrating sometimes when I forget about it. God, it's going to take ages for this. Oh, well, you know what? While I'm waiting for you to sort your shit out, in fact, I've got a fair bit of iron bars still. I've got a lot of bricks. Uh, how about my wood? I've got no, I've got no wood. All right, well, I'm going to have to go take my pony and go find a whole bunch of stuff then, aren't I? I left my horse to the sappers round KSN. No, really, I left my horse all the way over here. I accidentally turned off him following me around. Can you uh, stay, follow... Uh, oh, give me uh, name mount. I can actually name him. Give water. Can I give you water? A bucket is required. I have my canteen. Let him drink out of my bloody uh, water supply. Uh, so I need you to follow me. I wish there was a button somewhere that I could actually just you know uh, get him from a distance. But like, I, I can't. I can't do the whistle without doing it. If I did it now, you'd all go deaf. But yeah, like you had a whistle from a distance and get him to come over and find you. Like that should be a thing. Like he's my horse. You should know what I call for him. I do need to get him a saddle though. I said, you know, when I get back, I'm going to put the rest, I'm going to put my, all the wood I got, I got a whole bunch of wood, I'm going to put all my wood into the plank making machine, and uh, check on my, on my bricks, and on my iron, and while that's going on, I might just make my, uh, my beloved pony a nice comfy saddle, god, my whole shop is a mess, uh, let's take that, and oh, I can't actually move that anywhere, can I, put you there, let's get this one, like, just kind of un, un -jenga my house, put everything back to the way it was, I had to move everything to get my bloody torches out, put you there, and move you back to where you were supposed to be. Uh, against this wall here. No, no. Against this wall here. There we go. That'll do. Okay. So, saddle. What do I need for the best saddle again? This one here. Horse saddle six. Ride like a king. That's what the black stallion deserves. One wool and one leather. I've got the rest of the stuff on me. Okay. Um, one wool, one leather. Do I have that in here? Uh, auto stack sword items. Uh, well, there's a leather. I've got that. Do I have any wool? I thought I had some wool. I killed a couple sheep here and there. Cotton. Where's the wool? Where's the wool, Cotton? Oh, it was right at the top. Okay, got the wool. All right, is that everything I need to make it? It looks like it is. Give me that. You can see over here as well, I also made an anvil at some point. Uh, well, between episodes, because I wanted to give him some horseshoes. My horse has some sweet uh, cast iron kicks, which uh, it doubled up for some reason. 
Okay, that's a little bit confusing. Uh, whatever. I'm not going to ask you a question about that, though. He's got his shoes. He just needs his sweet threads. And then he will be the pimpinest horse in all of the West. I don't have as many planks as I might have liked, but it's going to be okay, I think. At least I hope it is. All right, let's go finish off my building. But first of all, here you go, Mr. Mustang. Oh, damn it. I keep doing that by, uh, by accident. Get off there. Can I go like this? Uh, oh, God. Okay, get the game to do what I want to do. Get off the horse. Open inventory. Close inventory. Grab the horse, hold E. There we go. Okay. Uh, open inventory. Where are you? Here you are. Here you go. Put that in there and then on there. Hey, look at him. He's got a little... Oh, but like, I feel like that's not doing him any favors. I mean, sure, it's a lot of storage. But I feel like he won't be as speedy when he's got big crates on the side of him. I feel kind of bad about that. Maybe I should use that uh, that saddle for the other horse, which is currently disappeared somewhere. He's here somewhere. I just don't know where. But maybe I want to get like a nice, speedy, luxurious uh, saddle for my black Mustang. In the meantime, though, when we're not talking about saddles, we're talking about building off, uh, or finishing off our lovely, dovely, I've got the wrong kind of ceiling. Uh, stable, uh, slope, no, that's the wrong one again. Well, half slope, slope, that's the one. Okay, you go there, and we'll go on the other side, and you go there, there we go. Look at this! This is all coming together so lovely. Uh, can I just can I get you to face the right way though? Oh, there we go. Okay, the game is a little bit frustrating sometimes, but look at that! We have a stable! Well, we have most of the stuff. There's a couple little things I still have to put in. I really wish there was a way I could get like a half pillar. A half pillar needs to be made, but I don't have one. No, that's that's the pillar. I need to have instead uh, one of these bad boys. Put you up the, at the top if I could see, like that. And I probably... I probably should put one in the middle there. I don't really want to because it's going to look kind of ridiculous and make like a little window. But I, it needs to look like something's actually holding up the roof. In fact, to the point where I'm kind of considering just going, can I go, can I put that on the face there? No, nope, not going to let me. Ah, that's annoying. Wait, I totally can. Okay, put that like that. Oh, horse. Okay, you're getting in the way again. I told you to follow me when you're out in the wilderness. Sure, there's a way I can say like in this, like when you're near... Oh, I guess I don't have uh, anywhere put down for him to uh, call his home right now. He doesn't know where his home is. He's just a silly horse. But it should be a way to say, this is your home now. When Ah, damn it. Whenever you come back here, you should just walk over there and be a happy little horsey in your brand new home. In fact, can I... Did I just... Did I fuck that by putting that thing... <gasps> I misbuilt one thing and it ruined me. God damn it. Easy does it. This is the last bit. Boom. There we go. Right. I think that has come out an absolute treat. I mean, that looks like a stable, doesn't it? That sort of looks like a stable. I need some windows on the end of it, though, so, like, you know, the horses don't get blown in the face. If there's a sandstorm coming through, they can huddle up over here and be nice and safe. I'd love to be able to make, like, an actual hay bale or something. Can I get you just to, just to stay there for a second? I need to make you uh, three of these. One, two, three. Th three? Did I accidentally just make four? No? Why can't I make more than that? I'm, conf I'm confused. I have all the stuff. What? Oh, I don't, like, I'm short one rope. So, oh, damn it. It's always the case. I wonder if there's a way through, like, the metalworking station. I, I can make a, a, a wood trough just uh, just here with a couple of wood, and that's fine. But that's, um, that's not as, as fancy as I'd like my brand new stable to be. So is there a way? I wish this menu here was a bit bigger so I could actually see things. Is there a way in here I can make like a metal trough or something? <gasps> a metal trough? High capacity metal trough that can be used to automatically give water and food to livestock. Iron ore 20, planks 20. Oh, that's pretty expensive, but it might be worth it. It might just be worth it. I think, I think, you know, the horses can't treat themselves, but I can treat the horses. I just built them a lovely brand new home that actually looks really cool. I mean, seriously, that looks fucking awesome. Um, although I don't like that the half walls don't line up with here. Like there's that step down. I kind of want to go and like make, okay, get rid of all the walls again and just make it like half, but like that, that would be silly, I think. Right, so I need 20, was it 20 iron ore, it said, I, I turned all my ore into ingots, which is a bit annoying, uh, 20 iron ore and a bunch of planks, I can get the planks easy enough and still like, make them over in the corner, 60 iron ore, which in fairness is only like one big rock, alright, pony, we're going for another adventure, we need to find one iron filled boulder, let's do it. I have returned from my journey. Uh, I just kind of had the thought that maybe I didn't like to start crafting enough wooden planks. How many have I got? <gasps> I've got 70. Thank God. I've got just enough. I've got a hundred and, what, 140 iron ore on me. Do you actually get uh, maybe like 50 or so iron ore 
out of each stone. There's a couple of stones scattered around that hill right there. It doesn't take very long for me at all to go and get uh, iron ore, which is good for me. The, the wood is the hardest thing, but like one good trip for wood uh, will give me all, the, all that I ever really need. Give me that, give me that, give me that, three of those. I have a pipe wrench here that I forgot about. Did I... There's thunder nearby. It's a little bit scary. Did I... I accidentally made two. Well, there you go. I am a sausage. Look, look, okay. You can't scrap things and get material back. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of annoying. However, I just put one in there and now it's immediately gone again. Alright, never mind. I guess it just disappeared into the nether. Whatever. Don't even care. I need to get my metal troughs, which I... Wait for the second one. Whoop, there we go. Got two of those. Where is this storm? Because it sounds pretty bloody close. Well, it's reasonably close. It's just like giving a nice little downpour to the dry as fuck desert. And also, I mean, hopefully the rain puts out the fires that the lightning is starting. Uh, where is my trough? So how do I... What's the best way to do this, you reckon? So I put this in... <gasps> you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're not big enough? After all of that, you're not big enough to fit this... Oh, wait. I can't put it inside. Is that the thing? You're fucking having a laugh. Seriously? You know what? You know, oh, God. I probably should have checked that beforehand. Why can't I put a horse tie post, a horse post, inside a, a stable? That's fucking ridiculous. I also can't put the trough inside uh, the, the stable. That is some fucking horse shit. I went through all of that to build a lovely stable for my ponies, and I can't even put the pony specific things inside it. I just, I, I just have no words. I mean, listen, early access, so it's time for things like this to change. But if there's anyone who has anything to do with making this game watch this, for the fuck's sake, please let me put horse things inside a stable. I'm just going to have to do the responsible thing to try and keep my horses alive and put their lovely, decadent, brand new uh, horse troughs just out here, just out the side here. In fact, if it rains over here, now, will it fill up those? I know the well fills up by itself. That's the whole point of a well. I was a bit confused when it started raining the other day. But like, if it rains, will it fill up my horse troughs. I kind of want to leave one of them empty just to see if that's the case. But now that that's there, I want to put my... Can I, can, I, can I stick this in behind it? Is there enough room? Please let there be enough room. There's not going to be enough room, is there? Damn it, I just wanted to put that there so the horses can be tied up and drink and be happy as four-legged Larrys. That's kind of the best that I can really do right now, but it means that the horses aren't undercover if they are over here uh, having a lovely little drink. I need to go get my bucket so I can fill up those troughs with things for the horses to drink and uh, get the plant fiber for them to eat. So I assume they eat plant fiber. I don't know. Can I feed them apples? Where do I get apples even from? Uh, where is my bucket? There's my bucket. Okay, take that. Okay, let's let's try and figure this shit out, shall we? Let's try and get this working in a way that you would think a stable would work. Right, so just fill up the troughs with water. Ah, not enough water. Never mind. I will make like Jack and Jill and head up the hill, or I guess across the hill, to fetch a pail of water. Uh, fill up bucket. There we go. Well, if you've got to run like that, you're going to lose all the water. Look, you just spilled half the water on the ground. After all your efforts, you now put like, put all the water on the ground. Did that you emptied my entire bucket? Damn it, it really did. Okay, that's fine though. That's fine. I'm happy to go through the effort for the ponies. Ponies deserve the effort. They're going to lug around the desert carrying my fat ass on their back. Then they get to get taken care of when they do make it back home again. Put you in there. Fill that up. Okay. Uh, wait. Can I... How do I... How do I actually put food in here? Uh, get rid of the bucket. Uh, hold E for options. Remove water. Destroy. Cancel. How do I... How do I feed horses? I don't know. What do horses even eat? I mean, you're looking a bit hungry. Can I uh, can I lead you over to water, but I can't make you drink? No, I need a lasso to lead you. Uh, take you. All right, you come over here. In fact, you know what? Even better, just come over here. I'll, I'll take you myself. I'll, I'll do the hard yards, and I'll take you over here. Okay, let's just bring it right up. Nice and easy right there. I don't know where my donkey and my other horse have gone. I assume they're still here. They're just despawned because I went away. Um, let's see. Lead. Uh, do I have you led? No. Nope. How about now? Now I do tie up horse. There we go. Can I make you? Can I make you drink? Uh, make Mustang horse drink. There we go. It's not even close to the bucket, but whatever. As long as he's getting his water, he did get his water. Then I'm happy for him. Ah! No tornado! Stay away from my horse. So now I'm kind of looking at this, and I'm thinking mm, it could be better. There could be a way to protect the horses while they're drinking here. So maybe this is the wrong kind of hammer. I want that kind of hammer. So maybe while they're there, I can just get another kind of roof. Uh, half. Yep, half sloped. Can I build you off the top up here somewhere? Yes, like that. Can I... 
Oh, you're so close to being protected. That's kind of what I wanted, but it's, I need to be the next step up. Can you go? What about, what about this side? Can I build you on this side? Can you attach to the top right there, please? No, you just gotta fucking I put your finger in my middle of my face and tell me to get fucked? Yeah, nah, cool, awesome. I just don't think it's gonna let me do it. The closest I can get is to put another set of roofs like along the top here, which I guess, I mean, it's close enough, isn't it? Like that's gotta do some sort of help for the ponies out here, but it's not gonna cover them. It's just gonna cover like their food and stuff. Can I go, can I go? <gasps> I can go one more. Yes, okay, let's go all the way out. Let's make this thing a whole thing. I'm still annoyed that I couldn't put these things in their actual stalls, but whatever. This is going to have to be the second best. All the way to there. And then from there, can I build pillars down? Can I attach pillars to the ends? No, nope, you just got to... Uh, come on! Look, it's clearly I'm building all around here. Now it's just breaking physics. I'm trying to make, adhere to the rules of the world, and you're making it difficult for me. I just had an idea that I hope might work. If I get these... because I get to, Yes, they do attach to the ceiling. I'll put you... Like that, and then like that. There we go. Can I attach you to pillars? Now that there's like a wall there, do you do you see that as a thing? No, you don't. You just you just you're just pissing me off now. You're just doing this to annoy me, aren't you? You're just looking at me going, you know what? Fuck you, buddy. You want to have aesthetically pleasing buildings? That ain't gonna happen. Look, I'm doing my best. Like it actually looks really good. So much better than I was actually expecting it to when I first started out. Well, like I just need. I need to be able to put two two poles down here, maybe three, just into the ground, just some way to support the roof. I can't put foundations down because then the game's like, mm, you can't have freaking. I don't know why it sounds like Yoda, but like, mm, you uh, have water troughs in building, you cannot. <laughs> that was a terrible Yoda impression, but you know what I mean. Like as soon as I start trying to build the actual building, the game won't let me do it. So I need to find a way. Can I go? Can I go? In fact, do I have. Oh, damn it, I need more supplies. All right, BRB. I know there's more making. I just need to go get them. So I think this is going to be the best that I'm going to be able to manage. I can put one wall over here. It kind of clips through the like the stuff, but that's that's okay. That's not so bad. If I could build more, then I would turn it around. I mean, I would have uh, this whole area. Be, I could have the horses face this way, which might actually still be like, the better option. But I just can't. I can't get it to work the way I want it to. I need. I want to be able to put the pillars down uh, without the foundation that they just to attach the top of the roofs. But I can't do it. Which is very, very, very frustrating to me. I mean, you, you, you all know how important symmetricality and aesthetics and all that kind of shit are to me. And the game is just telling me that no, it's not going to let me live out my dreams of having an aesthetically pleasing stable. But that being said, it's not the worst thing I've ever built in my life. It does the job. It looks nice. It has, has all the functionality of a stable, even though if it's just outside, the horses have a nice place to sleep. In fact, if there's a way, is, can I even like... Miscellaneous, uh, doors. No, that's not kind of what, that's not what I wanted. Glass. Do I have glass? No, I don't have glass. I, I just need glass to make those windows. Maybe we'll go and make some log windows. Um, just so, you know, the horses don't need glass in there. But like, damn it. I was so close. I was so close to having it being perfect. Hey, he's back again. I had to like quit the game and reload. But now all my horses are back where they need to be. You're full of everything you're full of everything. Okay, well, in that case, I can take you guys. I can go and put you in your new homes. Which one would you like? Which one suits who the best? Uh, let's go. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put this one right in the middle, right here. Because I've already kind of... Eh. Eh. <laughs> oh, no. No. No, after all that. You are not going to tell me after all that I can't park my stupid freaking horse inside my uh, my brand new stable. That would disappoint me to no end. Can you can you come in here, please? Come on. Come on. All the way in. Or get Just move your freaking fat horsey ass inside here. I can't walk any further to try and lead you in. You are shitting me. You are shitting me. After all that, this is what it's going to come down to. The game being like, no, you can't just duck your head a little bit and make your way into the stable. You're cooked. Just get in there. Come on. Just, um, I, just take... Can I, can I take my hat off and fit? Look, look, I'll take my hat off. There we go. Look at that. There's like an inch of clearance. Just get in there. Yes. Okay. I did it. It, was, it took a little bit, but I got... It. Oh, God. Um, okay. There we go. So the horse physics are still a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Oh, horsey, no. No, I spent so long getting you in, and then you just trotted out again. Oh, you asshole. Stay. And then you... Stay. So when I put you in a spot, like last time, you just stay where I left you. Put the hammer away. Okay, here we go. Let's see. In and just like, just like wiggle around. Wiggle around a little bit. Here we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Oh, so close. Look, I'm clipping through the log for you. Get in there. There we go. Okay. 
Oh boy, that is not an easy squeeze whatsoever. That um, that hurt me a little bit. You need to really like stretch and like heave and hoe and just like just not tense up a little bit, and you might just get the tip in. Last but certainly not least comes the black mustang. In you go, buddy. Come on, in, in, in. Yep, 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 yep. There we go. Okay, you can come over here. You can stay there. I'll get out onto the roof. Don't mind me. That is perfect. Look at that. Sh Why? Why? Why do you? Why do you infuriate me so? Why do you do? After all my hard work, you just turn around and fuck it all up again. Oh god. Okay. If I get in there with pace, he just slots right in. So there you go. <laughs> Force is its own lubricant. If you go hard and fast enough, you'll just slot right in. You don't have to take care and just like gently like work your way into it. Just go full speed and penetrate straight in. Last but not least, need to give my guys some windows so they can actually you know look out of onto their surroundings and enjoy it just like I can. There's no glass panes in this one, so they can still get some nice uh, breezes coming through, making their life a bit better. I can't put one on that end one for some reason. Everything's kind of going on its tits right now. Squeeze, squeeze. There we go, there we go. Put one there. Huh, jump over there. Can I get over? No. Oh, damn it, it's going to take a while. Oh, I can put this one here, though. Just like that. Boom. There we go. Okay. There we go. All the windows are there. And oh, oh, oh. And because it is a beautiful day, I'm going to go around and open all the windows so all the ponies can look out at their wonderful places. Can I just squeeze, squeeze through? God, it's really not the most spacious thing in the world, is it? All right. There we go. Interact. Oh, damn it. That closed it. I, was, I thought it was already uh, open from a glitch. Turns out it wasn't. Uh, can I get my first person view? Interact. There we go. Squeeze through. Squeeze, squeeze, so you crouch jump, just get up, damn it, oh, it's got a long way around. Ah, oh, so annoying. There we go, all the windows are in, all the horses are looking nice and happy. That is a successful build. It's, it's been nice to go back to just like having something to build. I'd love to put the pillar there to make it look proper, but like I can't do that yet. We're hopefully one day they'll put an update out and allow you to attach pillars to roof pieces. I don't know. When they do, I'll come back and just kind of finish that one off. But yeah, it's been nice being back building things. It's been a long time since I had a video of just me going and just building something. Like back in like the Jawoodle Park days of just building bases in Seven Days to Die. So it's been lovely just like having an objective and just going about it and building. Sure, this took like a couple of hours even to go out and get all the resources and stuff throughout to make enough iron bars and planks and stuff like that. But it was pretty handy because in the time it took me to get back and smelt it all down and turn into the planks and whatnot and then go build, by the time I needed more, all the things that uh, give me those resources would have respawned. Like, look, there's a rock right there that gives me iron and a tree that gives me wood. Those are like, clearly the first ones I get every time I go out, but they respawn all the time. So... That means that this episode is done though, because that build is done. I have a stable. The compound on the Cliff Peninsula is coming together. Jaboodle Fort is starting to be built, but I'll have to come back and build some more of Jaboodle Fort and more than likely explore Monument Valley down there in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like, make sure to the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.